When King Shaul defied the command of Yahweh which he had effectuated and used a woman with a familiar spirit to talk to the dead Shamuel, Shamuel said to Shaul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Shaul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Polish team make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known to me what I should do. And Shamuel said, For what reason then dost thou ask of me, seeing Yahweh is departed from thee, and is become thy adversary? And Yahweh hath done to thee as he spoke by me, and Yahweh hath torn the kingdom out of thy hand, and given it to thy neighbor, even to Dawid, because thou obeyedst not the voice of Yahweh, and didst not execute his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore hath Yahweh done this thing to thee this day. Moreover, Yahweh will deliver Yisrael also with thee into the hand of the Polish team, and tomorrow shalt thou and thy sons be with me. Yahweh will deliver the host of Yisrael also into the hand of the Polish team. Then Shaul fell immediately his full length upon the earth, and was very afraid because of the words of Shamuel, and there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all the day nor all the night, and the woman persuaded him to eat, and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. Of the books called Shamuel the first, chapter 29, now the Polish team gathered together all their hosts to Apek, and Yisrael was once encamping by the fountain which is in Yisrael. And the lords of the Polish team passed on by hundreds and by thousands, and Dawid and his men passed on in the rearward with Arkish. Then said the princes of the Polish team, What do these Abrim here? And Achish said to the princes of the Polish team, Is not this Dawid, the servant of Shaul, the king of Yisrael, who hath been with me these days, or rather these years, and I have found no fault in him, since he fell away to me to this day? But the princes of the Polish team were wroth with him, and the princes of the Polish team said to him, Make the man return! that he may go back to his place where thou hast appointed him, and let him not go down with us to battle, lest in the battle he become an adversary to us. For wherewith should this fellow reconcile himself to his lord? Should it not be with the heads of these men? Is not this Dawid, of whom they sang one to another in dances, saying, Shaul hath slain his thousands, and Dawid his myriads? Then Hakish called Dawid and said to him, As Yahweh liveth, thou hast been upright, and thy going out and thy coming in with me in the host is good in my sight, for I have not found evil in thee since the day of thy coming to me to this day. Nevertheless, the Lord's favour thee not. For what reason now return, and go in peace, that thou displease not the lords of the Polish team? And Dawid said to Archish, But what have I done, and what hast thou found in thy servant, so long as I have been before thee to this day, that I may not go and fight against the enemies of my lord the king? And Hakish answered and said to Dawid, I know that thou art good in my sight, like a messenger of God. Notwithstanding, the princes of the Polish team have said, He shall not go up with us to the battle. For what reason now? 
Rise up early in the morning with the servants of thy Lord that are come with thee. And as soon as ye are up early in the morning, and have light, depart. So Dawid rose up early, he and his men, to depart in the morning, to return into the land of the Polish team. And the Polish team went up to Yezra'ahel.